Come on. Yay! <laughs>so excited we're doing an adventure activity today we are in Redovan and we're doing a via ferrata we are with vicente and dana and they have got us all geared up helping us climb this bad boy which i'm so excited about so via ferrata actually translates to iron path but i literally have no idea what i've signed up for so your guess is as good as mine but i'm really excited to find out so come with us so we have done a bit of rock climbing before but this looks completely different it's really high but we're looking forward to it so we're gonna give it a go now he's explained all the different rules and all the things we need to know about climbing. So he's going first, I'm second, Ronan's first, third, and Dana is fourth. So wish us luck. which is a really famous mountain in this area. And behind us, you can also see the town of Oroella. So it's already spectacular from here. So this is the first time I've actually had a chance to sit down. The views are just incredible. It's getting really warm, but now we're not using the iron ladders. We're going onto chains. So we have to kind of climb up the rocks, holding onto the chain. So this should be interesting. Oh, so this is going pretty well. We're onto our second bridge. It's really enjoyable. How are you? Hey! Uh, the views are incredible. The, the sun is starting to come up a bit more now. It's getting warm and the adrenaline is starting to kick in, which is amazing. So we're enjoying this. This is so much scarier than I thought it would be. It's really wobbly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How did you find that? Good. Yeah, yeah, it was enjoyable. You weren't as wobbly as me, but you did really well. I kind of just relaxed into it and went for it. I think because your feet are bigger, they give you more balance on each side. <laughs> yeah, true. But it's really good. You can feel the adrenaline kicking in. It's uh, getting a buzz over. It's good. I've got really warm. I've taken my jacket off and it's just absolutely lovely weather today. So. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. And our guide is absolutely fantastic. He's been taking so many photos of us, so many videos and helping us along the way. So we felt really lucky here finding this trip and we're just having such a good time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so much more wobbly than the other one. So that one's a bit more difficult, so you're swinging back and forth all over the place. But luckily it's shorter, so it's not as long. The last one was a lot longer. Oh, I'm enjoying this. So these are what we're using for safety to put on the iron rope. And he said that we have to put them on opposite sides. You can't put them on like this, because they're easy to get off. So you put one on like that, one on like that. And I'm supposed to have my arm underneath, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, this is getting scary now. <laughs> this is really scary. This <laughs> is muy bien. So he's just explained that we have to use all three hooks on this bit and we have to put the hooks on the ladder 
so we can get used to not using our hands and just resting because apparently this is the easy-ish section and we're going way up there where it's going to get a lot scarier and we have to get used to putting this on here, relaxing, not using our arms or legs and to be fair it was really scary at first but I'm getting used to it though. I am tight rope walking on a cliff. <laughs> Something I can check off my bucket list. So we're doing the next level now where the cliff isn't just going straight up, it's actually coming outwards. So this is a little bit more dangerous. So yeah, let's do it. Yeah, there's a lot more strength involved in this one. <laughs> This is absolutely incredible. We're having a little break now. This is the perfect place to have a bit of lunch. I've eaten in some cool places, but this might be the coolest place I've ever had lunch. So we've just had lunch and we're all geared back up to go to the next level but as we're here I just want to show you that over there is a really popular rock climbing wall but there are also many other rock climbing walls around this area that are very popular but we're going to the really hard level now so wish me luck. It's incredible. This is the highest seat I've ever sat on in my life. <laughs> I feel so proud of us right now, how high we've come up. I can actually see the car. <laughs> oh. Wow. So I'm just about to do La Vichagra, which is the most famous activity in all of the Via Ferratas in Spain. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even want to look down. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. So this is the final rest area of the whole experience. I can't believe how high up we are. I was getting a little bit in my mind when we were climbing up. I do have a few little scary thoughts here and there, but no, I've got to just switch my mind off, relax. And now I'm sitting on here, I do feel a lot better. So we're gonna climb up this bit, go along the bridge, and then we're finished. So I am so proud of us. I think we've all done amazing. We said we're a really good team. So really good, really happy with this experience. the last bridge of this whole Via Ferrata and this one was built in 2017 and this was the largest one in the Comunidad Valenciana until in 2020 they built a bigger one in Cayosa de Segura so yeah this is now the second largest. God. We did it. We did it. I'm so proud of us. I know. We literally woke up at seven o'clock this morning and it's around half three-ish now. So I'm just gobsmacked. I'm so proud of myself. We got about halfway and we sat and had lunch and the guy was like, oh, we've still got the same and more to go and it's all harder. So I was completely dreading it, but we made it. We're at the top. So I'm going to get the drone out, fly it over this beautiful view. Oh my 
my god we made it all the way down and looking up to where we were i cannot believe we completed that today we've had the most epic day Absolutely i would epic. recommend this 100 percent we booked it with alicante aventura with vicente and dana they are amazing i would not be able to do that without him he really helped with absolutely everything with all the climbing getting back down video photo everything so 100 percent recommend i will leave all their details in the description so you can book with them they have loads of other activities like kayaking rock climbing horse riding loads of activities so make sure you check out their website and definitely book a day trip it's just been fantastic so if you did enjoy this video please remember to give me a big thumbs up as it will really help my channel to grow and we'll be able to do more activities like this and put them on youtube for you yep. and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so hit the bell hit the bell <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys see you soon see ya